In my hands, I have the new 2019 Pro V1 and Pro V1X golf balls. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure of a hand injury and a bit of snow lying on the ground it means I'm not able to go out in the golf course today. But don't worry, I've tested these golf balls out over the last few weeks. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on how they performed. I'm also going to run through the technology that's gone into this 2019 edition of the number one ball in golf. Tightly say they are new balls from core to cover, so I'll go through all of that for you. First off though, if you're new to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. So let's run into the technology. When Titleist began engineering these golf balls, they wanted to deliver more speed and more distance than ever before, but they didn't want to sacrifice the feel we've all come to love over the years and that brilliant short game spin and control. So how were they able to achieve this? Well, these are basically new balls from core to cover. Uh, we're starting off with a new thinner cover. It's five thousandths of an inch thinner. Now I know that doesn't sound like much, but that's about a 17% reduction in the thickness. Now this cover, it gives you the soft feel, it gives you the green side control, but it has the effect of slowing the golf ball down a little bit. So by reducing that, the thickness of that layer, you're going to get more speed, but tightly say you're still retaining that feel and still that short game control. To further enhance the speed, they've also thickened the casing layer by about 14% in the Pro V1 and 11% in the Pro V1X. So this is the second layer in, and it acts to boost your speed, but also reduce some spin. So you're gonna take spin out your iron shots and get more distance. We then have a new core formulation for each golf ball. Now we've got a single core in the Pro V1 and a dual core in the Pro V1X, and these are the real engines of the golf ball. So we have a soft center, which is gonna deliver the feel we've come to expect with these golf balls but they've stiffened the outer layer of the core to deliver more speed, give you more distance. Uh, that was one of the key aims with these golf balls, deliver added distance, but at every step of the way, retain that feel and return that short game spin. So that's pretty much the new technology, but it's also worth noting that we've got a new color option, we've got high optic yellow. Now this is the first time Titus have offered a colored option in the Pro V1 or Pro V1 X, uh, but don't think for a minute that color is just painted on. Titus invested heavily and researched a lot to make sure that that yellow option performed just as well at the exact same level as its white counterparts. So it's just good to have that option there if you're someone that likes playing a colored golf ball. So what about the performance? Well, I first started testing a version of these golf balls towards the tail end of last year. I'm sure many of you are aware, Titleist do their white box testing. So they send out uh, the 2019 Proto, uh, it was, they sent it out to team Titleist members that was tested out on tour, some elite amateurs as well. So that was when I first got my hands on a version of these golf balls. And the thing that stood out immediately was the increase in speed. I was seeing about a mile to two miles an hour extra, especially with my irons, which led to some more distance. But it wasn't just that speed, the spin rates were also down slightly. So, you know, just giving me an extra few yards carry with my irons and also an extra few yards with the driver. So it was really impressed. I then first got my hands on the real deal uh, a few weeks ago down at Woburn. I went for a ball fitting, which is really important. You need to know you're playing the right golf ball. Uh, after all, it's the only piece of equipment you use you know, in every shot in the round. So I think you should go get fit for these golf balls. If you're curious which one will suit your game the best, it's so important. Uh, the differences are that the Pro V1 is going to be slightly lower launching, lower spinning, and a bit softer feeling. The Pro V1X is going to launch a bit higher and spin a wee bit more and feel slightly firmer. So worth, very worthwhile finding out which one suits your game the best. But down in that session, we did some comparisons with the 2017 balls. I was just, again, seeing that slight jump in ball speed uh, and then that reduction spin to give some added distance with those irons uh, and longer shots but at the same time retaining that feel uh, I've come to expect from these golf balls over the years and the brilliant short game control getting plenty of spin plenty of gravel around the greens and just performing as I would expect the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X to do so in that area. Now somewhere down the line we'll have another video for you where we really put these balls through their paces We'll compare them with the 2017 models and just show you the improvements that have been made. So we'll have that video for you pretty much as soon as I can get back out in the golf course. Um, but hopefully this video has given you a good idea of the technology that's gone into the 2019 editions uh, and the performance you can expect. As I say, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching.